Right. So if you have read and understood, consider on the communication skills question. Can you begin? Uh, uh, give me a moment. Yes. Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, good afternoon. I am Dr. Uh, Mohammed Shahid. Uh, I am an SHO working here, uh, uh, working for uh, Mr. Man. Uh, I would like to speak to Mr. Man. Uh, am I speaking to the right person? Yes, I am Mr. Man. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, sir, I uh, I'd like to ask him about an advice uh, for a patient who underwent an elective right hemicolectomy uh, for a sequel tumor uh, with liver biopsies with suspected metastasis. Uh, the patient has uh, have, had only a urine output of 10 to 12 ml per hour for the last eight hours. So, uh, uh, who's the who's the consultant for this case? Uh, it was it is Mr. Man, uh, sir. So, you are calling for Mr. Man? Uh, so I'm, I'm calling to speak to Mr. Mann uh, okay. to get to get the uh, okay. ask for advice about this patient. Okay. Okay. Can you summarize the case, please? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this is a case of a uh, uh, 69-year-old lady who underwent a right hemicolectomy for a sequel tumor with liver biopsies uh, for suspect metastasis. The patient had a persistent tachycardia of 120 uh, beats per minute with hypertension of 90, uh, 90 over 60 mm of Hg with a temperature of 97.5 degrees. Uh, there's a drop, there's, there has been a drop of the uh, intraop hemoglobin from uh, 12 to 10, uh, although there were two units of blood uh, transfused intraoperatively. The creatinine of the patient is 116, uh, is 116 and urea 16. Uh, however, the problem is the patient's uh, urine output is has been 10 to 20 ml per hour for the last eight hours. So she has hardly made around uh, 100, 100, 100, around 100 ml of R of the last eight hours. And the patient has received only 1,100 1, ml of normal saline. So what do you think of what happened with this patient? Uh, the first possible uh, thing I was thinking is the patient may be dehydrated, sir, uh, considering she has received only 1,100 ml of uh, normal saline. Uh, mm -hmm. However, uh, the possibility of... Uh, uh, a hemorrhagic shock also should be kept in mind, uh, provided the, because there's a drop in the uh, hemoglobin from 12 to 10. Although there were there was two units of, uh, of uh, blood transfused. So why uh, did you think the the, the patient suffered from the internal bleeding? Uh, sir, un very unlikely, but yes, I have to keep it as as one of the differential diagnosis because the patient's tachycardic and hypotensive, and there has been a drop in the hemoglobin. However, not my so first differential diagnosis. I will keep it in the back of my head, sir. So how can you exclude that? Uh, I will repeat the hemoglobin after. Uh, I, I will repeat serial hemoglobins and monitor the vitals serially and look for any further drop in the hemoglobin. If required, I'll get an ultrasound done to look for any free fluid in the abdomen, sir. So, uh, okay. Do you think this case uh, had uh, an stomatic leak? Uh, for now, the patient uh, doesn't look toxic as such, sir, but we can't rule it out per se. So I'll keep more serially monitoring the patient and uh, uh, evaluate the patient serially. And if at all something goes wrong, I'll inform you, sir. So why call you me? Sorry? So why calling for me? Sir, I want to inform about this patient condition, sir, and uh, to make sure you, you are updated uh, subsequently as well. So uh, do you want to transfer this case to the... Uh, high dependency unit or intensive care unit? Uh, so for as of now, I will monitor the patient here and uh, I will do serial blood investigations and try, try, try to treat the patient as per the uh, care of the critically ill surgical uh, patient protocol. Uh, I'll maintain the patient's uh, airway, uh, patent airway, uh, maintain adequate breathing and circulation and uh, make sure the patient has uh, decent IV fluids being given. I'll give a bolus of an IV fluids. Uh, and I uh, will uh, probably for a, a, a one, a one liter of an IV fluid, I'll give it over an hour and will continuously monitor the patient. However, if the patient uh, does not improve, then I would like to consider shifting the patient to an HDU, sir. Can you tell me the, uh, the, the real dose, the exact dose were for the, for the fluid? Or how could we the fluid? Uh, sir, we can calculate the fluid using uh, the Halliday Resnick formula, sir. Uh, basically, uh, 10 ml per hour. This, this will be a maintenance fluid of 10 ml per hour, uh, 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 10 ml per kg uh, per hour for the first 10 kgs. 
uh, then we have it for uh, 2 ml per hour per kg for the second uh, 10 kgs and then 1 ml per hour for the next uh, for the next weight however in this patient i would like to transfer 1 liter of uh, bolus over 1 hour uh, as a fluid challenge sir we is not response to the 100s 1 1000 milliliter so what will we do uh sir so i will put a central line uh, and probably even start off with a uh, a blood transfusion as well if the hemoglobin drops further okay uh, i don't have any question if you ma'am have any other question you can what help us what if the us. patient's uh, saturation drops uh if what the saturation drops uh, If the saturation drops, I will put the patient on a high flow oxygen and immediately shift the patient to a high dependency unit. I will inform you as soon as possible, sir. I will inform you immediately. What would be your differential diagnosis in that case? Uh, in that case, I would like to also consider uh, the possibility of uh, uh, septic embolism. shock, pulmonary, pulmonary embolism. embolism. First, pulmonary okay. embolism. Yes. So yes. what pulmonary you embolism. do? Pulmonary embolism. Yes, you'll go for the CTPA and you'll uh, order for the test. Order for D dimers. I'll do. I'll yes. check for the D dimers for the bloods. Uh, I will evaluate uh, clinically once again. Yes. Uh, look for the arterial blood gas analysis. Get a CTPA, and uh, if it is less than four hours, then probably go ahead for a thrombolysis. All right. Okay. Uh, and I will also already like to... tell uh, how would you manage high urea and creatinine levels. Uh, I didn't mention that. No, uh, the high urea and creatinine level. I will uh, monitor the dose of. Uh, I will continue with the doses of uh, IV, IV fluid challenge will be given. I will continue IV fluids uh, adequately. However, if the creatinine and the blood urea do not uh, improve over subsequently over time, I will also call for a nephrologist consult uh, and uh, think of a positive requirement of a. a Uh, hemodialysis if the electrolytes are significantly deranged. Do you think uh, right now these values of urea creatinine are deranged or at what level they do they stand? Uh, they are at the borderline. Border, okay. They are borderline deranged. Yes. Uh, right. Patient's blood has also dropped from ten to twelve. And uh, why would you consider giving a uh, uh, fluid? challenge rather than blood transfusion motivation uh, we have already have received uh, two units of blood intraoperative during the surgery yes and because it was uh, for a malignant growth there is expected uh, significant expected blood loss which is possible uh, and that the patient has received only 1100 ml of r for surgery since yes. uh, i would recommend that i, I would try first try with the iv uh, challenge uh, intravenous bolus challenge yes. if it doesn't improve then think of a blood transfusion Very good. Okay, just uh, if you can summarize the discussion. So, uh, uh, so uh, this is a call to inform uh, Dr. Man, uh, Mr. Man, about a 69-year-old lady who underwent uh, right hemicolectomy for a C50 tumor with liver meds with a liver biopsies for suspected meds. The patient was uh, oliguric since the past eight hours uh, with around 100 ml of urine output. Uh, received around 1,000 100 ml of uh, normal saline. Uh, the patient's uh, uh, vitals are uh, 120 beats per minute of pulse rate and uh, 90 over 60 mm of Hg of the BP, and uh, there has been a mild drop of uh, uh, there has been a drop of hemoglobin from uh, 12 to 10 uh, with two uh, units of intraoperative surgery, probably because of uh, uh, either hypovolemia, uh, secondary to uh, less IV fluids being given, or because of uh, internal uh, bleeding. Uh, This is my uh, summary. Okay, good. Thank you. Well, has already gone. So, any uh, yes, any feedback? We can maybe begin with Dr. Dapper. So he did it well, very well. Yes. And he he responds for each question in a good way. Yes. He's actually the perfect. Yeah. He's ready to go for the yeah. exam, right? No, actually, there were yeah. times when I was uh, panicking out here. So I really didn't know what I was. I'll, I would be answered. I, I think it it is better to do the communication station like that. Um, uh, it is better than prepare because if you mm-hmm. prepare, you 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 guess what I will say. You know what I will say, but in such way, we give the answer. We give a question in non. Uh, in a routine way, uh, some question it is different from the other station, 
and you respond well. It is very good. Thank you, sir. In this scenario, uh, yes, someone wanted to say something. In this scenario, when the consultant will be asking you for the lab reports, you would have to be very careful when you are reading in your uh, preparatory day because uh, they are, they'll be given haphazardly and you would have to note the date when the blood sample was taken. And then you have to keep that because uh, it can be given very haphazardly. You wouldn't have to... We, we, uh, madam, we will, have, we will be provided with a pen and a pencil or a pencil yes, and a paper to yes, jot it down. Yes, right? yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And whole uh, patient's journal will be given. But then it will okay. be like haphazard. Uh, some labs okay. will be high, some will be borderline, some will be normal. But then you have to check, make sure you read the date when sample was taken so that you mm -hmm. can, once the examiner asks you, you can comment easily. Did you uh, ask about the blocked urinary catheter? Mm, no, even I didn't answer. Yeah. Okay. Examiner will ask you, and it will be already given in the notes that it was mm -hmm. checked and it's not mm -hmm. blocked. Okay. Yeah, so these are the things that you have to keep in your mind while preparing. Yeah. Good. Very so.